Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can en encrypt and decrypt data in a web API. So sometimes you want to send data and the data you're sending, you want to encrypt it so unauthorized people who get access to the data will not be able to read your data since it's not in plain text. And I will also show you how you can decrypt this data. So let's get started. I will do this in .NET Core. Let's do like this. So in the startup, we have something a class Microsoft has provided for us called data protection. So all you have to do is uh, say service.add data protection. With the help of this service, we can now encrypt and decrypt data. Uh, so let's do like this. And I will create a controller here. And let's call it maybe security controller. Security controller. This security controller need to get access to the data protection provider. So we're going to say in the constructor, constructor here, we're going to do a dependency injection for I data protection provider. Let's bring that library in. Whoops. Uh, use, yeah, so it's in, inside the asp.net core data protection. Uh, data provider. And we're going to create a property here. Read only. Uh, of i data protector i data protector uh, data protector what and what we're going to do is we're going to say this data protector is equal to data provider dot create protector and to create a protector it takes one argument and the argument is your secret key so you can decide where to store this secret key, maybe in your app setting uh, JSON, maybe in an environment variable or in Azure Key Vault. But it has to be secret somewhere. But for the e to make this tutorial easy to understand, I will hard code it here. So this is my secret key to encrypt, encrypt and decrypt. So this is just my secret key. You should create something more advanced and hide it somewhere that is not so reachable or adjustable for, uh, for everyone to to modify. So in our day in, in our method here, we're gonna create a HTTP get, and we're gonna create a string called uh, hell, uh, called uh, plain text, and we're gonna assign it a value called hello YouTube. So I, I want to send this back. So what I can do is return, OK, new, and I can send plain text back. But I also want to encrypt this text. So what I can do then is do a string encrypt uh, text is equal to this dot data protector dot protect. And what do we want to protect? Yeah, we want to protect this plain text. So I'm going to send back, I'm going to assign the encrypted text so it's going to be protected and I'm also going to send it back. I also want to decrypt this encrypted text. So what I can do then is say string decrypt, uh, how do you spell decrypt, decrypt text is equal to this dot data protector dot unprotect. And we're going to unprotect the encrypted data. So this is now decrypted, and I'm also going to send that back. So let's see how it looks. So if I start this, it will start Swagger for me. So let it start. Start, start. Yeah, it's starting. Uh, slow. Uh, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Let me uh, think quickly. Uh, I have an HTTP get. Oh, this. Oh, damn. Uh, I have to create a base contro uh, controller base, and I have to say that is an API controller. Uh, 
uh, and I have to say that the route is this controller here. So the name of this controller, so it's security. So let's start it now. So now I have a get call. If I execute this get call, I'm getting three different kind of data. I'm getting my plain text, hello YouTube. I'm getting this plain text as encrypted. So this is what it looks like when it's encrypted. And I'm also seeing the decrypted part says hello YouTube. So the decrypted part has decrypted this encryption here. So this data that is encrypted has been decrypted here. So that is how we can encrypt and decrypt data in uh, C-sharp.net Core. Thank you for watching. See you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.